Elaine Love from Colorado. Elaine for success.com. My most memorable and most expensive Christmas present was a little gray tiger-striped kitten with a little white throat and four little white anklets. She came to live with me at Christmas time. She'd sit in the center of the floor, very demure and proper, and then shoo, take off like a rocket. My son Dan named her Scat, and the name evolved into Scatty Cat. Now, my Christmas tree that year was a beautiful big Douglas fir decorated with antique glass balls that I'd saved all these years until my sons were grown and it was safe to hang them. The lights reflecting off of the glass made a beautiful sight inside and outside the house. I had the tree positioned in the center of my bow bay window looking out at the ski mountain and it made a beautiful sight. I went to work as normal and a repairman came into my office. He'd been at the house for some reason or other. And he said, why is your Christmas tree laying down? He said, it's not. He said, oh, yes, it is. Well, I returned home to find the Douglas fir indeed prone and surrounded in a sea of shattered glass. Ever try to get shattered glass out of thick plush carpet? It's like Christmas tree needles. You find some months later. I looked and looked, and I couldn't find Scatty Cat. She was finally located under the center of my king bed, where she refused to come out for two days. Now, I'll never know what really happened. Did she try to climb the tree? Did she try to go through the tree to get to the bow bay window to sun herself? I'll never know. What I do know for a fact is that Scatty lived with me for most of the next 20 years. And never in all that time did I ever see her go within three feet of a Christmas tree. There was a correlation between the reclining Douglas fir and my little furry Christmas present. Have a great day. This is Elaine from Colorado. Elaine4success.com. Make it a great day.